Hey everyone, this is Lisa from TRW. In this video, I'm going to be customizing this nice, soft, minky blanket using Caesar Strip Flock in white. Just a nice little accent blanket that's perfect for wintertime and it won't be too overwhelming. So here is my blanket. It's very cute. Uh, so this is a buffalo plaid. Um, it's like a minky fabric with this little fluffy part on the inside. I got this from Hobby Lobby. Uh, Hobby Lobby has really good stuff at Christmas time, so definitely check it out. This blanket is, uh, hopefully it'll focus for you, 50 inches by 60 inches, and it is full price, $19.99, but you guys know I never pay full price, so they had a half off Christmas sale, so of course I did that. Now with this one, um, typically I put them in the corner, but I'm kind of feeling if, I'm trying to see if I want to put it in the middle or if I want to put it in the corner. So let's see. Okay, <laughs> so after I did that pause to really think about it, I'm going to put it in the middle, but I'm going to put it on the short side. So to do this, because I'm in a limited area, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my press down so I can get that like halfway mark that a lot of us will do for our presses. So let's go ahead and bring this down. Now, if I would have thought about this beforehand, I would have taken my blanket and laid it out on something and placed it. But, you know, I, I decided halfway through. So we're going to go ahead and lay this down. So these are things that we have to look out for. So first of all, this is like a polyester which sometimes shrinks with the heat. Second of all, this is really, really fluffy. So that becomes an issue when you're pressing things like Easy Weed because you don't want to see the texture in there. So I cut out this reindeer and this is Caesar Strip Flock. Now the reason why I'm using Strip Flock is because it's nice and thick, you don't have to worry too much about the random um, like bumps from the texture of the blanket. So I'm just bringing this down a little bit more so I can press it. Now, in order to, to prevent shrinking, I'm gonna try to do as short of a press as possible. Now, the cool thing about your Caesar HTV is that it can stick after a couple seconds. It just doesn't have the full cure time. So my press is set to actually 280 degrees. I'm gonna do this at a lower temperature just to be safe. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down for literally maybe three seconds. I'm gonna tighten this to a little bit more. Okay. So with this next part in the waiting, um, one thing to keep in mind is strip flock is a cold peel. So I'm gonna set this over to the side and we're gonna move the camera over and we're gonna let it cool and then peel it. All right, so this is cooled off. Now for you guys watching at home, it did take a couple minutes, probably like a minute and a half, two minutes, which when I say it out loud is not really that long of a time, but when you're waiting to peel something, it does feel like that long. So I'm just holding it down, making sure I don't feel any heat. Um, because this is so insulated, or I don't know if insulated is the right word, because it's so thick, it did retain the heat for a while. So I'm going to take my carrier and peel back like this. Now with your cold peel vinyls, a lot of time the carrier is all, not super sticky, but the bond between your vinyl and carrier is kind of strong. So you're, it's going to tug a little bit more than you're used to. It's not anything where you've pressed it wrong or anything like that. It's just how cold peel vinyls work. Now, I want to point out something to you that could be an issue you want to look out for. So if you look at this, hopefully you can kind of see it slightly. You can almost see the pattern onto this carrier. Now that's a sign that this, this blanket at some point was sublimated to be dyed and so the dye can come out. Now one thing I'm going to look out for with this is because I'm using a white vinyl, um, I am cautious about um, dye migration, which is pretty much the heat from pressing it causes kind of like the dye to come up into this vinyl because it's white you'll see it through it. So I'm going to go ahead and press this for a few more seconds to make sure it stays and then I'm going to kind of watch this to see if the dye comes through. So let's go back to the heat press. Here I am. So I got a cover sheet. Just want to be careful. Now I'm just going to take this and you can see there's lots of fuzzies on here from the bottom part. It's just the way this blanket is. So if you get this blanket from Hobby Lobby, just know you're going to get all these little fuzzies on you. So we're going to go ahead, bring it like this. Let's bring our blanket down. And again, don't forget, like I said before, you want to do shorter presses and lower the heat. You know, you're not washing a blanket as often as you are clothes, so it'll be totally fine. 
So again, I have this at 280. Just gonna do maybe like five seconds and then we'll be set. All right, so we did that to get our cure time. It's looking good. And the reason why I did strip flock is I wanted to have that nice soft feel to it, but also it has this nice deep color going on with it. So let me hold it up. I wanna check something out. So what I was doing is I was looking right here, a little of the, the fabric was going on top of it. I was afraid it was the dye, but it looks good so far. Okay guys, so here's the finished product. One thing I wanna point out is it's kind of like bumpy right here. Now that is because I was not careful with it and I put it down and let it wrinkle on top of itself while it was warm. Um, to fix this, I'm just gonna do a really, really quick press to flatten it and lay it flat until it's cooled off. But a really fun project, I think it's really nice. And guys, you know this time of year, Hobby Lobby has all the best stuff. So cute. So definitely check this out. This is, again, got this for $20, but not really. I got it half off, so make sure you use the sale or use a coupon to get it. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos and more craft projects, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're uploading all the time, and we can't wait to have you.